Hi everybody, uh, today's video we're going to talk about factory updates. So uh, if you're going to be ordering a California soon, how long is it going to take to arrive? Uh, ones that you might already have an order when they're going to arrive and expected delivery dates and so forth from there as well. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, the T6.1. We're talking about the beach, the coast and the ocean. Uh, so if you were to place an order for one today, uh, you will be looking at delivery on H2. So uh, from June next year onwards, uh, that's pretty much where the lead time uh, is for those. And that's because uh, they're aware of what production they've actually got next year and the first half of next year. Uh, so anything now that you place up, uh, it will be uh, towards that, uh, towards the second half of next year uh, if you place an order today for a fresh factory order. Uh, now you, you might know from the previous ones is that they've got a queue system uh, which they're working with so from when you placed your order uh, it goes into a queue position and then obviously then Volkswagen are building them as per that queue system. Uh, now there are some differences that do happen from those so if you've got particular component shortages uh, so for example like tow bars uh, that might affect where you are in that position queue but generally speaking that, that's how it's working. Uh, so people that have already got orders on so if you've already got one order in the system uh, they have recently produced a new update list. Uh, so that list has given clarification on when the vehicles are actually going to get built. Uh, so you're no longer getting a number. Uh, so uh, previously they gave us numbers. So there were, you know, your 79 in the queue, your 346, your 500 in the queue. Uh, the number system has gone, uh, but what they are doing instead is giving us the production month that that vehicle would, uh, would get built in. Uh, so for example, say you're in the queue uh, and you might get, uh, your production might be in January's production. Uh, if that is the case, in January, we would generally see your vehicle somewhere in the regions of six to eight weeks thereafter. So we would generally see it for March uh, for it to actually arrive on site in the March time period. Uh, and that's assuming everything that comes in. There is still some, a little bit of delays on vehicles if they're missing something at the actual factory when it comes through, which can extend it a little bit more. Uh, but six to eight weeks is a, is a pretty good indication to once it's actually been built um, and you know that it's actually left the factory on that basis. So they're giving us those particular month builds. Uh, so they're either going to say, well, we're going to build it in January. We don't know when in January. It could be the 1st of January. It could be the towards the end, the 30th of January. Uh, and that's the information, obviously, that we've got and that, that we'll be giving to uh, people who've got them on order as well, whether it's with us or with another dealership somewhere. Uh, everybody would have the same California list as well, so they know uh, where everybody is on that particular list. Anybody that has recently ordered is probably also in that batch uh, and you won't bring that list. So don't worry if you're, if you're not appearing, if you phone up and say, oh, where I am, I, what, what production month I'm in there. That list only goes up to production in May. Uh, so the next time they produce an update list or the other ones when they've got an idea on where uh, production levels will be for H2, so for the second half of next year, obviously then you'll be on that list uh, and come through and get an idea where, where we are. Now, fingers crossed, and this isn't a golden rule, but fingers crossed, uh, everybody in the world in the world of manufacturing for cars, etc., is hoping um, that we've seen on the news that you know come H2 next year, uh, some of the problems which they're having now with raw materials, etc., might start to uh, become better. Uh, so that we would see a lot, a bigger rise in production in the second half of next year. Obviously, at the moment, we're still a long way off that, still eight months away from, from half year for next year. Uh, so a lot can happen in that time period from in there. But hopefully we might see a bigger number of vehicles in general getting built uh, towards the second half of, of next year. Uh, so that's T6.1 covered. Now we've also got the Grand California. Uh, and lead times on Grand California is a lot, lot better. Uh, so we're, we're seeing things on Grand California, uh, I think in around the four month kind of time scale uh, from on those. So which is pretty much what the normal time scales would be. Uh, from on there. Again, obviously there are still shortages of certain components, depending on what you're ordering from there. Uh, but lead times on Grand California is a lot, lot better than it is on the, uh, the T6.1. And then finally, the new one in the group, which is the Caddy California. Uh, now, as you know, the launch for that was been pushed back. Uh, so it was due to be launched this year in 2021. Uh, it's now going to come into 2022. Uh, we still haven't got any specific dates on that, uh, but as soon as we do, obviously we'll bring the information uh, to you. Uh, as soon as we get to see a vehicle as well, in the flesh, which hopefully we won't be uh, too far off in the future, uh, we'll, uh, we'll obviously bring you that information as well so we can start to look for those for next year. Because uh, obviously the, the main season for next year, you know, we kind of start off from Easter, March, Easter uh, onwards from on there as well. So hopefully we'll uh, maybe have that by that time. Uh, but as soon as we have information, we'll let you know and we'll move you forward from there too. As we're talking about factory updates as well, I thought we'd also mention about everything else we do within our product range, so within the commercial side uh, as well. Uh, and things are a little bit different because it does depend on, on where your order is uh, that's in there as well. So if you speak to your dealers, they can tell you when they're coming through. There is component shortages, 
It just depends on the orders that they've got in, depending on how quickly they are coming through. Uh, some panel vans, for example, we are seeing them come through quite quickly. Uh, but your best thing to do for those is to speak to you who you've ordered them through. If it's us, obviously give us a ring and we'll give you a better indication of when we would expect those vehicles to arrive. Uh, and then finally, uh, multivan, which is coming to us very soon, which is the Caravelle replacement vehicle. So fingers crossed I'm going to be having a look at this vehicle uh, towards the end of uh, November. And anything that I'm allowed to share with you, uh, I will share with you from uh, when we have a look at the vehicle as well. I'm, I'm sure at the very least there'll be some photos and things like that that uh, uh, we can share with you as well. Uh, and obviously that particular vehicle is looking like early 2022 uh, for ordering. Uh, but again, we'll bring you that information as and when we get it. Uh, so just a very quick video for you today, just a quick update to let you know where everything's going. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries over that, pop them in the comments box below, because uh, we've got another Q&A session coming up in a week or two's time, so we can add them in there. So if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, normal thing. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, it really does help the channel out as well. And we'll speak to you soon.